So we all know that the RTX 3080 definitely has a lot of power, a lot of power draw, and that means a lot of heat. So how hot exactly does the RTX 3080 run? I have a Founders Edition as well as a third party PNY card, and I wanna answer the question, how hot does it run? And could you possibly fry an egg on the Founders Edition cooler? Am I crazy enough to try it? I don't know, keep watching and we'll see. Let's get started. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. If you like my content, consider subscribing, smash that like button. Remember to hit the notification bell so you see more cool videos like this. So let's get right into it. The RTX 3080 is a very powerful GPU, but it definitely runs very hot just because it's all that power. Now, I'm not saying that the coolers are bad or inefficient. It's the opposite. They're, they're actually fantastic coolers, including the Founders Edition primarily, and they can deal with a tremendous amount of wattage and heat coming out of these GPUs. GPUs. But that also means that the cooler itself does get insanely hot. I remember one day after doing some testing, I went to touch it to see how the Founders Edition cooler would feel. And I think physically, it's like the hottest cooler I've ever felt. And that makes sense, I think, as it dissipates all that heat from the GPU itself, makes sense that the cooler would stay warm. Of course, certain third-party coolers, especially if they have more plastic as opposed to like metal or aluminum, they're gonna stay considerably cooler to the touch than something like a Founders Edition. But that's something that adds to the build quality Quality of the Founders Edition. I just wouldn't really try to take it out of your system right after you've been gaming or doing benchmarks because you're probably going to burn your fingers. Some of the third party cards, you can actually take it out a few seconds after. They're really not that hot to the touch, but the Founders Edition particularly definitely felt really hot. So something like a Founders Edition, around what temperatures is it actually getting to? Well, I found that let's say if I'm running Heaven Benchmark for like half an hour, um, even you know a case with decent airflow, nothing too crazy going on, just, just like a pretty much straightforward airflow path. I found that the GPU would usually max out like 77 to 78 Celsius after a lot of warm air got in the case itself. Of course, depending on the load, if it's something like a, like a game you're playing, it could be considerably less. Sometimes it could be around like 72C or something like that. Having benchmark just really stresses the GPU a lot more than like a game or even some other benchmarks would. So this is definitely going sort of to the extreme. And of course, if you dare touch the cooler on the GPU, even if the GPU itself is performing great, staying in the 70s the cooler itself just because of that transfer of heat feels insanely hot and that's why i asked the question could you fry an egg on the cooler of the 3080 i don't know we're gonna see maybe later on in the video i'll try and see if it makes any sense to do so now by comparison the third party gpu this pny accelerate card um, first of all in the actual gpu heat um, it's pretty close to the founders edition a lot of the time sometimes it definitely will get up there between four to six degrees celsius a little bit cooler than the founders edition just because it has like a triple fan design it's a little bit different um, but in terms of being hot to the touch it does have more of a plastic backplate so to the touch yeah it's pretty warm it's hot could even be a little bit uncomfortable but it's not really that crazy the founders edition on the other hand gets extremely hot i was surprised at how hot that cooler gets so i decided to do what any normal person would do get a little bit of tinfoil crack an egg on it put that egg on top of the gpu maybe give it a few seconds and see would anything happen so i did just that the gpu was very hot from running a heaven benchmark of course i put a little bit of tinfoil protected on the side so nothing was going to drip or anything like that don't worry i closed up the side so nothing was going to drip on the gpu and it's clean on the bottom so there's going to be nothing like that i know it's a founders edition gpu they're pretty rare like gold and trust me i wouldn't want to damage it at all so i put the egg on the gpu and i left it there maybe you know just a few seconds i didn't want to leave it there too too long just because it's a rtx 3080 and i'm putting an egg on it like i don't want it to start like spewing stuff and staining it or something like that so to my surprise even leaving it there just a few seconds as i pulled it out the yolk definitely was hardening it got considerably harder just from a few seconds of that heat
I think if you put that egg on the GPU bare, maybe even just for like a minute, I think it would definitely fry that egg where you could just take it off and eat it. Like just a few seconds through the tin foil, it hardened considerably. So that shows you the amount of heat that's transferring first from the GPU to the cooler. Of course, the fans had that nice heat pipe design. I spoke about this NVIDIA cooler previously. It's a really cool pass-through design. But at the same time, the cooler itself, if you're going to touch it, gets crazy warm. So I guess the answer is yes. If you leave it on there long enough, you could definitely fry an egg on the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Founders Edition cooler. Now, I wouldn't try this on the third-party GPU just because I don't think it, that backplate is going to get hot enough. Maybe some other third-party GPU that has like a metal backplate and gets really, really hot. Maybe something like that could work. But for now, the Founders Edition actually serves, I think, as a pretty good frying pan. But now, I think if I happen to be gaming early in the morning and my frying pan is nowhere to be found, I could just throw an egg right on that GPU, playing a game, warming it up, have my breakfast right there. That's how hot it gets. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit silly, but we're also talking about sort of the thermals on these GPUs. And I think you'll learn that the Founders Edition cooler, while it is efficient, it pulls a lot of heat from these GPUs that are producing so much power, 350 plus watts. The cooler itself, and it's very solid, very high quality, that also translates to it getting insanely hot to the touch. I know most people aren't touching their GPUs when they're gaming or doing benchmarks all the time, but sometimes people do. And that's just something that I noticed from touching it and the question came to me could you fry an egg answer was yes all right guys subscribe if you like my content remember to hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next video